Hey, how's it going? How's everybody doing? Uh, just, uh, let me fix that for a second there. Just uh, finishing off, well, a couple more videos to go, I suppose, but uh, the shelf-by-shelf -shelf thing I was, I've been doing, uh, just going through everything on the shelves and just independently, as opposed to just doing the whole thing, uh, just talking about uh, all the crap I have. And um, this is very, boy, I'm going to do this for now. No, I'm not, and I'm blocking the camera. Ah, confusion. But anyway, yeah, sorry. I'm going to uh, be doing another video for that. I hope I'm in frame here. I'm just, I didn't realize this is kind of crooked. But anyway, yes, if you want to subscribe, that would be outstanding. I would really appreciate that. Get up to a thousand peeps and uh, leave a comment because I always get back. I love the banter. I love going a little bit of back and forth. And uh, if you want to hit a like, that would be kind of cool too. And, you know, let's... Okay. that's that's that I don't know I don't really have a follow-up statement to that statement but I'm just gonna get right into this video and decide out of the couple shelves I got left which one I will be doing today let's try we'll go up here I don't think I did this one yet pretty sure I didn't I know I did a few Star Wars ones so I don't think I did this so I will do this guy I'm gonna pull this chair out here so I'm gonna use it stand on should have done that earlier but uh hold on okay sorry about that little glitch but uh i just had to fix something anyway starting up here i've talked about a lot of this stuff in other videos but this is my shelf by shelf uh series so let's do it again Anyway, this is just a Darth Vader I got from, um, I think it was a Canadian Tire or something. It was just a couple bucks. It doesn't really do much. The head moves, swivels back and forth, and the arms go up and down. It's about it. I just wanted it as a display because it looks kind of cool. You know. Down there. And he does have a lightsaber, which I will grab in a second right here. So... Yeah, he does have his own lightsaber, which just fits in his hand in that space there. But uh, just because his arm doesn't really have any articulation, it just goes up and down. It just sort of gets in the way. So I keep the lightsaber on a different shelf, just kind of, you know, as a decoration. And uh, back there is obviously a at, -AT walker or an AT-AT walker, whatever you want to call it, or even a snow walker. It's what everyone was calling them when... Uh, Empire Strikes Back first came out. It's another model, and as I've said in other videos, I don't have the patience to do models. That's why I don't buy them anymore. But when I was going through a huge Star Wars phase, and I had like thousands of dollars worth of Star Wars stuff, not kidding. I sold most of it, gave a lot of it away, donated some of it. This is one of the few things that I still have. But I bought a bunch of models then too, and uh, <laughs> put them all together and really didn't paint them because I can't paint to save my life. You can see how sloppy that is there on the front. But uh, that's why I keep it up on a top shelf where it's sort of not as obvious. But it's still kind of cool looking. But I did have a lot of models and they were literally all that color because I couldn't paint. Couldn't paint them. I bought paints and tried to paint them. And when I realized the limit of my talents, which you can see right here, is not a whole lot, um, I just gave up. And then all the models more or less went into a trunk and then I donated them all. Uh, back there, I got uh, Mandalorian, Mando. I bought that also at Canadian Tire. Um, just after, I think, the second season, I saw it. I was like, oh, that'll look kind of cool on the shelf. Uh, doesn't really do a whole lot. It's interesting. His cape is molded plastic, whereas the Darth Vader cape, you can see, is actually material. Flowy material, but doesn't really matter it's not like I'm playing with them and again he has like pretty much no articulation his arms go up and down the head swivels a little bit that's about it and then here's an r2d2 bank I got at winners and uh I just saw it as I was walking by a few years ago oh cool that it's kind of neat and I went in and oh it was like three dollars so ah, fuck it I'll buy it which I did but yeah it's just a bank let's see the slot is kind of on the back of his dome so you can't really see it here but that's uh, a Stormtrooper, uh, it's just like a little case a friend of mine got me. Actually, it was my sister-in-law that got me that. And it's full of mints, I, th I think. 
which I didn't eat because I don't know they're gross little mints, but she just got it because it was a stormtrooper and she thought I'd like it, which I do. That's why it's there. It's an R2D2 button I bought years and years ago when I was again when I was going through all the buying Star Wars stuff. Most of the stuff back then it was before the prequels came out, before the films were re released in the in the nineties, the twenty year anniversary. Um, special editions or whatever you want to call them. And uh, yeah, I think I most of the stuff I got from garage sales, like stuff like this anyway. And there's a couple micro machines, uh, at at Walker, AT, ATS Walker, and a Scout Walker right there. And then this one here, and, the, and then another micro machine one there. Let's get a few. And this one here I got at the dollar store. It's just, it's, just like a newer version, and it's it's mostly made out of die cast except the legs, and which I think the legs and the head maybe are made out of uh, plastic, and the body's uh, made out of metal or die cast, whatever you want to call it. And I think that's it for that. And if you're wondering what that is, it's just a strip of Lego I got because this leather face down here isn't very freestanding. This leather face uh, Lego man. So I just bought that somewhere and cut a piece off and maybe I'll need it again. Who knows? But uh, moving down here, it's so my Aliens and Predators. Which I got. Uh, kind of collecting, not really. There's a couple things I like. But uh, the first one I ever got was this blue guy, which is actually my favorite. It's kind of got the most detail on it, except for the colors, the color scheme as being blue, but... Still kind of cool. A lot of articulation. It's NECA, so you know it's gonna, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be perfect. So, and the blades and everything go in and out, and the, the timer for the self-destruct thing that they got, uh, flips open. It's a really cool toy. The gun moves. It can be taken off. And then back here, that's uh. The first, the only predator I have without a mask on, without. The helmet on and that's why i bought it there was another one that was a few dollars more which i kind of wish i bought because it was actually better this one's kind of kind of has like if you look at it kind of has like a he-man body it's kind of weird weirdly shaped but still pretty cool i just wanted one without the helmets or without the mask because that seems to be the more common way to find them uh that was the second one i bought this one this kind of gray silver one way in the back again i don't know what company made this one but I just happened to walk into a comic book shop on my way home that I saw. And uh, I just kind of went in to look around. And this was behind the counter. And I think I paid 12 bucks for it. Used. Um, but it's a pretty cool toy. I like it. Let's see. I'm trying to get in there without knocking a bunch of stuff over. But, no, that's not going to happen. And then this one here, that one in the back there, that's actually just like a, like a toy for kids. I can't. I don't know what company... It is, but it's still kind of neat. And I just bought it because it just, I don't know, I like the color on it. And it just looked kind of cool, so that's why that guy's there. And then the aliens up here. This one here I really don't care too too much for just because it's, well, it's red. But that's why I bought it because it was just different. But uh, it doesn't really stand too well. That's why it's kind of on its knees like that, just to make it a little bit different. But it doesn't freestand so good. Even with the tail, because they used the tail for balance. You can see the tails back there. And this one here is the same one, only uh, in black, which I like a lot better. And it stands a little bit better. Let's see in the mouth. And then this one here, I'm pretty sure this is NECA. This is the most recent one I bought, which I still bought a couple years ago. This one's super cool. See, like skull inside it and everything it's really cool looking it's like the, these are these also could i think these are neck as well but this one's just a better one but you can see all the detail inside there it's a really well made piece and it came with the with the egg and the face hugger that you can see here and then the chest burster down here that all came as one, so that was kind of cool. I think that that's pretty much why I bought it because it had all the extra pieces to sort of add to the display. But 
it's pretty cool. The Star Wars stuff up here, and I'll do one more. I'll just do this top shelf here. So over here, I got a homemade Han Hannibal Lecter mask that I made years ago. It's a little rough looking, but I kind of like it. That's why I keep it on the shelf. And then up here, we got the library ghost from, uh, from Ghostbusters. And the stand's a little weird looking because it had this really cheap stand that a lot of these, uh, some of the NECA toys come with. Now, NECA is really awesome, obviously, but it puts a lot of detail in their stuff. But the stands they use, these, so the uh, ghosts are hovering. So I'm looking up, so my voice is a little weird sounding. But they're really weak, and they usually end up just falling off the stand. So what I did is I just took a paper towel roll. And then just kind of tapered it, wrapped it up in electrical tape, and then sat her on top of it just so she's uh, still kind of freestanding almost in appearance from far away. Well, Three Stooges lunchbox, which I have a couple Three Stooges collection, but the reason I bought this, number one, the lunchbox looked kind of cool, looked kind of cute, and uh, it came with uh, a Laurel and Hardy movie, and I really like Laurel, Laurel and Hardy. So, And then uh, a Bendham... Uh, Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story that came from the dollar store. And same with the Bendham Woody figure over here. And that's the side of the, the lunchbox there. Anyway, I'm gonna stand up on something here. <clears throat> All right. And then over here is the taxi driver from Ghostbusters, which I've said this before. He's basically a zombie, he's not really a ghost, but still looks kind of cool. He doesn't freestand at all. You can see by the feet, like there's no way to stand. So that's why I have him in a, in a sitting position just up on the shelf here. And let's leave it to Beaver season one, the lunchbox edition, which I big fan of leave it to Beaver. Leave it to Beaver. I don't know what's going on with my voice today, but uh, it's kind of cool. And then over here is the uh, Toonie Terror version of uh, Quint from uh, from Jaws, which I think is kind of cool. There's actually more to that. I bought this secondhand at a place called, uh, which I mention a lot lately, uh, Treehouse Collectibles in Toronto, downtown Toronto on the east side of Toronto. And um, I, this normally would come with a Jaws head and uh, looks like a piece of the ship or piece of the orca that he's standing on, the uh, boat. But uh, this didn't have it, but it was only like five bucks just for that. So I was like, ah, who cares? And even for like just a silly toy, it's pretty detailed. It does actually look like the character. It looks a lot like him. And uh, no regrets buying it. And he fits perfectly in this one empty spot I had up on the shelf. So, But anyway, that concludes this video. I think it's like part nine or something. But uh, anyway, let me turn this off. But yeah, this is, I believe, part nine of uh, my Shelf by Shelf series. If, um, like I said, if you want to leave a comment below, talk about stuff you have, things are in my collection that uh, you find interesting or things in my collection you might also have and you want to talk about where you got them from or how you feel about them. And um, I guess uh, if you want to subscribe, if you haven't already, that'd be kind of cool. I'd really like that. And I guess until the next one, bye.